Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So yesterday I told you that uh, I would be starting a website soon and and uh, doing some things a little bit differently. None of that's actually figured completely out. But if you look up PastorStitch.com, there is a website up now. There's not a whole lot of stuff there, but it's there and. Uh, We'll start to develop that as as the weeks go on. Um, real quick, um, just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, it is it it feels good to me when you comment and let me know that something I shared um, impacted you. I'd be doing this if you didn't. I, I'd be sharing every day if you'd never commented because it's what God told me to do. But there are days where your words are what carry me because I feel off you know, or I feel un, unworthy or whatever might be going on in my life. Um, and, and so I want to thank each and every one of you for the words of encouragement you've sent me. Uh, so thank you again for that. This morning, our reading, uh, you should be reading the book of Proverbs. Chapter by chapter, so the chapter that corresponds with the date. Today is the 14th, that would mean chapter 14, right? And in chapter 14, verse 16, it says, A wise man is cautious and turns from evil, but a fool is easily angered and is careless or um, and fails. A fool is easily angered and fails. And I was thinking about that verse today and, and what it means to be easily angered. And the first thought that came to my mind was the fact that, you know, Jesus, when he walked into the temple and saw all the money changers and the people selling and, and trading in the temple courts, it, it made him mad. And he went and he sat down and he fashioned a whip. And I was told as a young child that he did that so he could take time to think it through and make sure that he was acting justly, not out of just anger. And so, so many times in my life, I've thought to myself, I'm angry right now. I just need to go sit down and think it through. Let me ask you a question. When you're angry and you go sit down to think something through, have you ever come out of that thinking process, less angry? Maybe you have. If you have, I'm pretty sure you didn't think the anger through. You thought God through. All right. But if you went into that process thinking about why you were angry and what needed to be done about it, by the time you were done thinking, you were more angry. A wise man is cautious and turns from evil, but a fool is easily angered and is careless. I can't take my disappointment, my anger, my distress and go dwell on it because it gives me more of the same and I, I, I'm in a much worse place than when I started. Now maybe you can and I hope that's true. But I'm willing to bet the majority of us are like me. So here's what I've learned. When I'm angry, when I'm distressed, when I'm disappointed, when I'm struggling in any way, if I take the time to dwell on those things, I make the situation worse. But if I take the time to turn away from those thoughts and turn towards God, more often than not, I can overcome. The verse says, A wise man is cautious and turns from evil, but a fool is easily angered and is careless. Something to think about today, guys. Seriously think about where you're at and what's going on in your lives. I love y'all. I truly do. And I wish you all the best today. Don't forget, like and share this. And if you want, go uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Pastor Stitch. And uh, 
you can find me on Facebook and, you know, like I said, there's a website now. Nothing on it, really, but if you want to go check it out, that's great, pastorstitch.com. Uh, I enjoy this. Um, I'm grateful for what God's doing. I'm looking forward to what God's going to continue to do. God bless and have a great day.